Hey everyone, it's Trevor Turnbull here, COO of Sports Networker, and I'm sitting with one of our awesome authors of Sports Networker, Katrina Glass. And I'm gonna ask Katrina some questions, because we're actually sitting, I'll see if I can maneuver the camera here. We are sitting on the University of Oregon campus, and Katrina is going to school here. I Maybe am? you can elaborate on that a little bit. Sure, yes, I am an MBA student here at University of Oregon in a very particular program uh, in the sports marketing, Warsaw Sports Marketing Center, which is one of the MBA tracks within the Lundquist School of Business, which is uh, part of the University of Oregon here in Eugene. Yes, so as you can see, I'm trying to run the camera with an extended arm here, but uh, I just presented to her class today on sports networking and um, really appreciated Katrina setting that up uh, to come down here. But Katrina really has a, a whole bunch of expertise and background in the sports industry, even though she's continuing to learn right now, uh, you've you've had lots of experience in the sports industry already. Maybe elaborate on, you know, what have you done in the sports business? Sure. What makes you the the <laughs> go-to source about everything to do with sports sponsorship? Well, I've been very fortunate to have some great roles within various different sports-related organizations. Uh, after finishing my commerce degree at Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario, I'm originally from Toronto. Uh, I spent a couple of years at Nike, both at the Nike Toronto head office in Toronto, or Nike Canada head office in Toronto, as well as the Nike Australia head office in Melbourne. Uh, I did some work with them on their Runtio program, their Olympic speed campaign during the Athens Olympics, and some of their community outreach and uh, charitable programs. Uh, from there, I moved on to Molson Coors, so took a little trip out to the beer industry. Um, also very connected to both sport and entertainment for obvious reasons, and was very fortunate to be a part of um, a pilot program that enabled me to participate on both the brand marketing side for Molson Canadian, as well as the innovation marketing team for Molson as a whole in developing new, uh, new beer brands essentially or new dispense units. So Sub-Zero was one of the things we developed um, at Molson. So a lot of variety in, in terms of trying to look deeper into the industry. Where are the gaps? How could we fill those gaps? What new product um, technologies out there that we could integrate uh, into enhancing the beer drinking experience? And then from there... And we... I like beer drinking. <laughs> we all do. <laughs> it's important. It's critical. Part of the fan experience, right? Exactly. From there, I moved westward to Vancouver, which is a phenomenal city and a um, phenomenal sports city as well, and had the opportunity to work on the Vancouver 2010 Olympic and Paralympic Winter Games. So spent about three years out there, both in a brand management and advertising role, as well as a client services role with a program we called the Vancouver 2010 Club, which is a VI program, VIP program uh, providing particular VIPs, non-official partner VIPs, uh, that high-level experience during games time. So I spent some time doing that and uh, been doing some consulting uh, after that, after the Paralympics were over, a little bit of traveling, and then came across the Warsaw program, which uh, was a no-brainer for me when I understood what the program was all about and how it's a generic MBA program, which is very important to have and not create creating too much of a niche for yourself but learning all those key skills through the lens of sport and sport business. And the networks that this program has as a result of Jim Warsaw, its founder, uh, are exceptionally strong and genuine and uh, based on his core personality, which is infiltrated all throughout all aspects of the program. Yes, no, it was very uh, uh, enlightening to be able to meet all the students and, and the professors and the directors and everything from this program here. It really is a great program and there's an article on Sports Network all about it. Uh, so you can tell Katrina's got tons of experience in a lot of different areas. She's going to be writing about a lot of those uh, different topics on Sports Networker, as well as one you actually didn't bring up yet, which is women in sports too. Uh, Katrina was actually down at the ESPNW Summit recently, had the opportunity to interview some very influential women in, the, in sports, and we'll continue to feature uh, a series on the site um, talking about you know the impact that women are having in sports, maybe maybe you want to elaborate on that a little bit too. Sure, it's a it's a very fast growing segment of the sports business industry. Um, ESPNW stated it 
quite quite articulately when they said that they created this site, this property within ESPN, not because it was the right thing to do to represent women in sport and women in sport business, but because it was the smart thing to do. There's definitely a market to speak to in this regard, and uh, it's half of our population, so we need to be more relevant to profiling the success stories in the, the sports arenas of all the sport, uh, female sport leagues and um, the athletes that are successful um, you know, at, at an international stage as well. So uh, they have done great things with the site, www.espnw.com, and I uh, hope to be following them even, uh, even more as, as they grow and continue to build that awareness level and profile. Um, women in sports and women's sports business too. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So how can people connect with you online? We want to make, want to make sure that uh, our community can connect with our authors. That's the whole point of this. We want people to, to network and share best practice ideas. So where do they find you online your website, Twitter, all that kind of stuff? Sure. Well, I am on LinkedIn, obviously. Katrina. LinkedIn, of course. Yes. Can't believe I didn't bring that one up first. <laughs> so just Katrina Gallus on LinkedIn. And, uh, and my Twitter is the same, Katrina Gallus, one word, K-A-T-R-I-N-A-G-A-L-A-S. And uh, yeah, feel free to follow me, reach out if you have anything you'd like to um, me to dive deeper into, for example, on that topic, more than happy to.